Hello guys, a Flying Dutcher here and welcome back to Two Woodcutters in Fort Hollandia and Fort Elmina. We are colonizing the Cape, well not the Cape, the Ivory Coast. Why am I saying Cape? No idea. And yes, we are going to continue our Dutch campaign here, the Tall Netherlands campaign. So we are making uh, already four trade towards the English Channel over Ivory Coast. So we are 28 now and it will increase very quickly I think. I hope in, in 30 or 40 years we will steer 15 or 20 trades from this note here. It's going to be amazing. Uh, let's have a look at our spreadsheet. We didn't do that last episode. So I think I updated it. And you can see the uh, development stacking modifiers that we have right now. And that we still need to get. So the universities, the tropical wood, trading in tropical wood one. And what was the other one? I don't know anymore. And I cannot see my OBS screen. Just like you guys. So I don't know. But you can see it. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's go back to the game. And of course those sailors modifiers. We still need uh, naval and maritime ideas. So we can get 15% instead of 5. You know a 5% of our force limit into marines. Now force limit is 30. 5% of 30 is 0.6. No, wait. 1% of 30 is 0.3. So we have we have 1.5. We only have one, so it, it rounds down to the to the bottom apparently. Alright. I was expecting two. We are at war with Kiu here and his allies, and we will try to make a colony in Mexico. Now, it's more important that we own the gold over here, but uh, this at least is a stepping stone to get a colonial nation going. I'm going to annex all of Kia, and it looks better when you have this tip. It makes more sense that you start colonizing and conquering there. Uh, yes, there we go. Flanders is integrated. Our country is getting its borders. It will be converted at some point. We have more fleets, because we an annexed him. Uh, transports go there. You can be upgraded. And what are you? Another transport. We have four more transports and two more trade ships. You guys, English Channel. And what is our force, uh, our naval force limit? Yeah, we're 8 over. That's not great. Hmm. And navy, I mean army-wise, what is our force limit now? We are only 2 over. That's, that's okay, I guess. I'm gonna kill these. But yeah. Everything will be uh, converted at some point because of our centers of reformation that will not get away because no one is going to destroy us. I like how it's getting a bit more blue here, but it's not enough to win a, a league war, I think. Not sure. So yeah, there we go. We now have Brugge, Gent and Rijssel. And the Brugge province is the most important because it has a natural harbor. But we cannot upgrade it because it, we are at war, so we have to wait for that. And yeah, that will make us give uh, to 65%, so we make 31 trade. Very nice. Yeah, you can see how expensive it is to uh, have an extra colony when you only have two colonists. We are not going to do that for a long time. Corruption, we need to root it out. And the fleet is just our main expense right now. Pretty expensive. One heavy ship. Oh, that's our flagship. 0.5 maintenance. Crazy. Too much, in my opinion. Why don't you do it then, Dutchie? Oh, I don't know. Just to be stronger than England. That's also important. Now we are getting close to two armies. Two armies of 20,000 20, units. Some point, at least. Well, we could do it right now. But then we will be 
paying way too much. Also you become part of trade company. When you make something part of trade company, the uh, culture doesn't matter anymore. So that's why you lose your um, your unrest of a wrong culture. Normally you get plus two unrest. But it's not here anymore because it's a trade company. What is this great peasants war, man? I think it's an event in in uh, the HRE. Needs to go away at some point. Do we take this one? Um, do we get... Yeah, No, we don't get innovativeness because Spain and uh, Portugal already have this completed. But I think we need to continue and complete this as quickly as we can. So there we go. We have another merchant. We have six merchants now. Uh, we do have every merchant from the incoming node, so we can now just look where can we make the most profit. And I think we're just going to put him in the Caribbean, because now everything is going to the Sevilla, and we need to send it to the Chesapeake Bay, and then from the Chesapeake Bay, home. We have a lot of forts. Too many. I think the one in Utrecht is going away. On the other hand, we don't have the plus one army tradition from having enough forts, so... Uh, I think I'm going to keep it for now then. But this is one cluster of forts. I think it's fine. How's the war going in, over in Aztec land here? Uh, occupy every province from this dude. Then I think we are able to peace out already. Just don't full, fully annex him. Oh. Hello. Now, this is the difference between natives and Europeans. Get wrecked. It's so unfair. All the stack wipes. Just, Im just imagine if, if you were the Indian and you would see someone on your shores with a wi weird wooden ship. With weird clothes and weird spears and stuff. Just, just imagine it. Crazy. Now. I mean, I could just take five provinces. And then go to war again. You know what? Let's just do it. Do we have other names for Dutch land here? No. We never went here. So. There we go. Uh, we need to core this. Um, yeah. We have to core all these five to get our colonial nation going. It's fine. Hey, extra Diplo points. Thank you. France is requesting that you come to war against England, Castile and Portugal. Oof. Well, France, it's nice that you want that land, but I want it too. Not, let's not make him too cranky. How do I get my troops here in time? I mean, we are pretty strong. Where are you going? What is your route? Let's merge them up somewhere. Over here. We have to join this war. What 
can I take? Maybe some col colony stuff. Oh, God. Could help right now. That's so scary. They have so many ships, do they? This is a big war. Oh, France has 15 heavy ships. Really? Look, we have the highest force limit. Two nests have the sailors. Let's, let's go there. Let's help France out. Here. Come here. I will accept in three months. Not earlier, France. I'm sorry. Ooh. No, I'm gonna change my plan again. This is not gonna work. France is gonna lose that battle. Come here. Portugal lost great power status. We are trading in tobacco. We have spy detection plus 25%. You're already trading in tobacco. Nice. Ulm is reformed. Yeah, you are getting attrition. I... I know. That is a better place, I think, to merge up then. Because we have the Azores. Achores. Achores. Is France winning? France winning. France is winning. He did win. No. Yes. Did, was I too late? I was too late to accept the piece. I have to press Alt F4. We're gonna bird the game. Life. Right here. We cannot... Uh, we can absolutely not lose the alliance with France. That is not gonna work. A live birding session with Dutchie. <laughs> Let's quickly go to the spreadsheet so you have something to watch at in the meantime. <laughs> Oh my god. Did we just really wait it too long? It didn't even feel like three months. But it was. Let me make my uh, OBS bigger so I can see it. What is it? Oh yeah, the policy. Economic quantity policy. 100% innovative is going to work. But maybe 50% so we have minus 5. That was it. Now I am recording, so loading the game takes a bit longer. But yeah, these things happen in EU4. That's how the game works. Taking a really long time to load. Okay. It should be up very soon now. Was this in time, February? Yes. Phew. It's, it's really stupid, isn't it? When an AI asks you to join when your armies are not in position, you could say to your AI, I will join you when my armies are there. Nope. They can only wait three months. They should make a system for that. That's 
super ridiculous. Now, we have some more information. We now know that France is going to win this battle. Did, wait. Wait, 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 wait. France did not ask me in yet. Ah. Okay, let's try this again. Gonna wait until my light ships are in position with the explorer. Accept. Where did the French army go? The navy of France. Is he still here? Wait, what? What? Why are they suddenly retreating? I won. But why is France suddenly retreating? Oh, there is his navy. Uh, yeah, you can attach to my fleet. Please do so. Where are you going? Attach to this navy. Yes, if we knew all of this. A revolt. Which one? Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah. Now let's hope we won't get occupied over here. And maybe I can take some Portuguese land from Portugal. Out of this war. Or take the English colonies. Hey, the cape is done, guys. There we go. 15 development. Slaves, they will change at some point. Don't you worry. So now we have only two colonies out of two. And that's what we want. Uh, I wanted to start coring my... Colonies, so maybe you should start on it. Now. We're still going there. What are you doing? We are attacking the English fleet. Well, a small, small boat fleet here. And you're docking. And you're not docking. England is taking our Irish possessions. How much armies do you have, England? 28,000. Well, I have more. Should we invade England? I cannot ask for London. France wants it. And France, oh no. I should have sent my army here immediately. Why did I not send my army here? Now France is going to get Calais. Ah, oh, man. I'm always so annoyed when that happened. You can't even imagine. This is so annoying. Th those small things you forget. And then you don't get it. I mean, now he cannot take those provinces anymore. No. Will he take Calais when he cannot take Picardy and Artois? I'm gonna... I'm gonna doubt that, actually. Hey, we have Ivory now. Ivory is worth 4, so that's a lot of uh, production. That will go into the trade node. France also in Portugal. Portugal should be get wrecked soon. I was hoping that France would leave. But he is not leaving. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to invade over here. I mean, we have so much manpower. We can, we can use some troops to fight. Just scared that England drops troops over here and we lose our colonies. That's still possible. Yeah, they just keep uprising until I have my uh, my policy. France is not leaving. Of course he is not leaving. He wants it. 
And he already won because he is the AI. Um, let's land troops in England. And these ones as well. Did he build that annoying building? That we... They don't have any buildings? Really? Really? We might get Artois out of this war. But it's gonna be a lot of... Uh, you call it because expansion for us. Let's repair in Amsterdam. We have a shipyard there. I mean, we are going to win this war, so together with France we can beat England, Castile and Portugal. That's really, really nice. Spain. Spain! Spain is a thing. Welcome, Spain. Welcome on the map. And he declared war on who? Napoli. Twenty-seven thousand troops, one hundred population. You are all repaired. You should block London. You should help France. Oh, gonna retreat. I'm gonna keep my two fleets over here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna separate peace out England. I don't. They are not gonna like it. But we will have some favors to increase the trust again. I am going to take London in this war. London will be mine. When you have London, you have all the trade. They are attacking me. I'm getting scared. We have more morale than they do. Can we roll... This is not zeros. Can we roll normal? We can't. Uh oh. We have too many troops in one army. So I could not... Save them. The AI is pretty smart, I have to say. They they unoccupied this, so I could not dock my ships anymore. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Well, at least we are not going to lose all our armies. Rip. Invasion failed. Need more troops there. I should build more uh, mercenaries, I think. Man, these natives are rising up every time. Crazy. I mean, we have enough manpower to go again. But, yikes. Maybe they are going to land. Oh, no, they can't. We, we have the naval superiority. 32,000, eh? 32,000 troops what we need to beat over there so that's the last score for our colonial nation our first one
Uh, yeah, we want a trade bonus. We now can have a flute and a war galley. Yeah, the flutes are the transports. We should upgrade all our ships all the time. <sighs> I'm afraid of invading England, guys. I don't think we can. I don't think we can invade England. Or I go with loans again. <laughs> oh, so Spain is out of the war because... Wait, was Spain in the war? Or Castile? Did, did they go out of the war because they now ha are Spain? I mean, I think something like that happened. How do I beat this? What mercenaries do I have? We don't have 800. 10,000. That can... No, it's not enough. Oh. No, no, no. What is the best leader? A 2423 with 10,000 troops. A 3351 is also really nice. The Flemish company in Brugge. The Yucatan company. We have some bonuses. We have 5%. You have 5% infantry combat ability. If you could just get this, this stack here. If we, if we can get two armies over on England in time. Then I think we can do it that way. I mean, we are close to tacking up as well. Does it really matter? A little bit. You can flank more. Uh, we should uh, start exploring. I think they won't get destroyed. I think we have the overhand on the sea. I don't know, guys, if I should um, go after England here. I mean, we could do this. Which is the historical last province that we had some influence of. In the Dutch region? Not in the Dutch region. We own all of the coastline in the Dutch region. Except for Gelder, but we have it as a vessel. Times of need. What do we need? We don't need... Well, no. No, we need admin. We only need admin. Hey, we have an agenda. It was a long time. Limerick, have a church. Oost-Friesland, have a regimental camp or conscription center. Traza, trade company size at least 10. Trade company size at least 10. Traza, trade company size at least 10. Do you want 10 provinces in the trade company? Is that what you're t what you're saying? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 9 now. Let's try it. We need only one more province then. And we get loyalty and then we can do our clicks. We can almost do it. Interesting. When we married Mathilde to the Danish king, we thought a strong bond has been formed. Denmark hates us. <laughs> oh no, not Denmark. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> we are doomed. <laughs> we have only 15%. Uh, should I just go after the colonies then? Should I take these ones? Colonial Colombia. We could. We could do all of this. Or go after England. 
or take Artois. So France won't take it. I mean, if we want war score, we should help with our heavy fleet here. Without a general, then. There is the papal of the reformation of the Catholic faith. The success of the Protestant movement can no longer be unchallenged. His Holiness has tasked commission of cardinals with addressing the challenges. So there are some uh, decisions you can take now, I think. We can't because we are Protestant. But yeah, it's becoming kinda blue, but still not a lot. Not a lot is there. You are stated now, right? You are not stated. Oh my god. There we go. Now you're stated. You have done that way earlier. Nice. Would love to drop off England, but I don't know when France is going to peace out. I mean, it is the French conquest of Bordeaux. So will they go for Bordeaux? If I tell France that I want this... And that I want this... We're still not in the war. If I tell them that I want it, and I go siege it, will he give it to me? I think that's the only thing we can do. I will leave my homeland unprotected though. But we have a decent fleet, I think. To take care of it. Oh, let's kill those uh, heavy ships. Yeah, he's trying to... He's putting troops on his boats. Four and eight. I could land here and knock his fleet out. Should I try it? I think we can escape on the boat when we are losing a battle. Let, 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 I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it again. Uh, you can stay. Should we improve with the Emperor a bit? For they're gonna hate me even more. Yeah. As long as we are in the Empire, we should try to stay with good relations. Now this will knock out their fleet, so I'm gonna kill all their boats. They will be stuck on their island. Are they coming? No, not yet. Oh, England has a really good uh, good navy. They have a combat bonus of their own coast, so... You have to see what's happening over here. Uh, lose two war exhaustion before money, yes. We are winning. And we killed one of their heavy ships. Nice. This one we cannot save, so we will do this. And... Get the hell out of here again. And you guys are gonna go to the colonies. Maybe we can get some Portuguese colonies before France pieces uh, Portugal out. I don't know if he wants to. Here, have a bit more a bit more trust, maybe that helps. Ah, you explored, and can you do some more Indian? So we can see all of this now. Ile de Bourbon. I say it in French, but who said that island is French? We don't know yet. We have no idea. 
Uh, Erasmus, we get 100 Diplo power. Yeah, but I'm not gonna assign you, but thank you for the power. That was very kind of you. Why is there suddenly 78? I don't know what happened. Oh, we can't do anything again. Yeah, the AI is stuck, I think. They don't know what to do. Yeah, 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 those rebels are always there. And here we are, we can land our troop in Brazil. Will France give it to us? Will they do it? The attrition man on the boat. My goodness. We really need more uh, marines. They're gonna be so nice. What is your range? We are losing it too quickly. We need to dock our ships. Before we lose them. Hopefully they are gonna survive. That was close. Uh, I think England cannot uh, use his ships here. I think he will lose against my all my light ships. We have good light ships as uh, the Netherlands, so... I think they have no other option. Let's see expansion in Europe. Yeah, we can go to... The fro we can uh, siege the, the course of Gelra very soon, I think. Should not take too long. Oh, you're maxed out. Yeah, we are always at our maximum sailors. We need to make our sailors into uh, military units. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, that's not gonna work. They will spread out anyway. Willem and the Frisian people. Simon Soutemir, guide our young heir. Willem has our blessing. Willem becomes Frisian. Claim of strength of heir, minus 25. I mean, it's still very high. And you are decent. Let's do this. Hey, we can certainly disinherit him. Do we disinherit Willem? I, I think he is good enough to not disinherit. I mean, he has a good idea first uh, thing. And that was, and that was Portugal. We were too late. Now I need to repair this, these ships uh, before I can put my troops back to our, my, my homeland so they are not black flagged and then we can go after England. Ah, uh, we have the Age of Reformation bonus. Now this can be... But it's only, only war score cost, it doesn't do anything about aggressive expansion. But we can take more if we want to. Hmm. Either this or trade power. Let's just go with the trade power for now. I mean, we are Dutch, we need to make money. That's why the, why the Dutch were invented, right? To make money? <laughs> Let's do some roleplay. <laughs> Just make as much money as possible. So now we are only at War of England. We are only at war with England. Love to take their colonies. Let's try it before it's too late. They're gonna peace out England before I can take anything. That's all. The, that's how it always goes.
How long is this going to take? Why? Hurry up. Okay, it will be this month, so we should be fine. Portugal is going crazy in the colonies. Maybe you should not go overseas. Just saying. The range is here again. Never pieced out, Florence pieced out. Alright guys, that's going to be the end for this episode. Another 40 minute episode for you. Thanks for watching guys. Once again, I'm really happy with the amount of views and the likes and the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.